Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. I've got a uh, small homeowner project that uh, I want to take you through here. I've got a landscape lighting transformer that was uh, damaged as a result of a nearby lightning strike a few weeks ago. And rather than uh, just replace the entire unit, I'm going to replace a small component. Uh, the uh, dust to dawn sensor went bad, so I'm, I bought an external one and I'm going to mount it to the outside of the uh, landscape lighting transformer case and get the unit back in service again. So stick with me and I'll show you how I do it. All right, before we get started with the repair, uh, I wanted to go over a couple of items that you might want to either purchase or borrow from a friend or a knowledgeable person that you know, maybe give you a hand. Uh, and when I was originally contemplating on making this video, I thought, oh, this is a real simple video. Anybody should be able to do this. Well, sort of, um, because I think most, mostly you, you would have to have a meter. This is gonna help you identify where the problem is with this particular unit and make it so that you can prove that you've fixed the issue. Uh, also, I mean, if you're, gonna, if you're gonna own a home, you really need to have something like this so that uh, you can troubleshoot things around your house, make sure that you're, whatever you're working on electrically is safe, uh, making sure that you've hooked things up the right way before you, um, you know, burn up, <laughs> uh, you know, expensive components or, or whatnot. So for what I paid for this, I think that every homeowner should, should have something uh, similar to this. Maybe not necessarily an amp meter, but uh, definitely a, uh, a volt ohm meter. You can get those all day long at Harbor Freight or borrow one or, you know, whatever. Um, so that would be the, the probably the most specialized piece of equipment for this repair that I would think that you would need to have. Secondly, a couple of screwdrivers to get into the case and take it apart. Center punch to uh, mark your location on the metal case to drill a hole. Uh, hole saw. Yeah, I guess these are kind of specialized. You can get them in a kit. Yeah, they're really useful for, for lots of other things. They drill through metal and and uh, and wood and, and plastics and stuff. They do a real good job at that. This is a step bit. You can use that uh, to drill through the case, although you will need another uh, regular bit, uh, steel bit, uh, wood bit to drill through the case first to get the hole started. This doesn't do a good job at starting holes. It does a really nice job at finishing them to the size that you want and it, and it rounds off the, uh, the outer edge so it's not as sharp. A uh, pair of wire strippers. Uh, I like wire strippers better than anything else to strip wire because, well, that's what they're designed to do and you get the best results. You don't, you don't tear up the wires. Some wire nuts and a cordless drill or a corded drill, whatever you have. I think that about covers it. Let's get started with the repair. Okay, so first things first with this. Uh, you know, take the unit apart and um, I want to verify that the transformer is good. I, the first thing that, that I observed when the, uh, the lights didn't come on was the, the, the sensor and display here was dark. And changing the uh, settings up and down did not uh, yield any result as far as turning the power on to the, to the landscape lighting. So uh, I figured that probably the controller itself was bad. So you know, before, I, before I even went any further than that, I, I went inside and tried to find an exact replacement part for this unit here and I was couldn't can't find anything no no parts for any of this stuff so taking this apart here which I've already gone through the motion of of uh, removing all the screws and things like that um, I determined that this controller here which has a relay on it and some capacitors this all by itself is what controls turning on the the lights. Uh, this controls the transformer. So what I've decided to do was eliminate this 
and wire directly to the power and in between that use a um, dust to dawn sensor. I picked up this dust to dawn sensor on uh, Amazon. It was uh, six or seven dollars. Uh, basically, this is going to act as the switch in between the uh, power input and the transformer. So this is the output. This is what hooks up to the uh, landscape lighting uh, cabling. And uh, this is the input from the 120-volt uh, AC. Uh, the transformer is a 120-volt uh, to 12-volt AC transformer. So this item right here is going to work perfectly for that. But it's going to involve some modification to the case itself. Uh, so going back to the, uh, the part where you would identify whether or not the transformer is bad, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically what I did was we're going to pull off the input wires and we'll just we're going to eliminate this altogether cuz this part here is absolutely it's no good so that's gone basically what i'm going to do is wire directly to the transformer now of course it goes without saying you're going to want to do this without anything being plugged in Use a couple of wire nuts to make it a little safer. <clears throat> and then we'll go ahead and plug in the transformer. Now I'm going to test the output. As you can see, 12.5 volts AC on the meter. So this transformer is good. Now for me, this was a good time to, uh, when I took this apart, to take this outer case and um, just kind of clean it up and hit it with a, coat, a couple coats of spray paint. This is the sensor. It's all plastic. I guess that's okay. Um, it's not gonna rust. Um, what I need to do is I need to drill a hole in the side of this case here so this mounts on the side. Now to keep it so that the uh, paint stays decent, I put a couple of layers of this glue tape on it. Keep the uh, metal shards from scratching the paint. Now I'm choosing to put this in this area because there's nothing in this space here. I'm going to use a, a center punch so my drill bit doesn't wander off. rubber gasket is going to go on the outside. Okay, the instructions for this particular uh, switch states that the black input hot wire gets connected to the black wire of the switch, which is the dust to dawn sensor. 
the red wire from the dust to dawn sensor connects to the black wire on the transformer. And then all of the white wires get connected together, the common. One thing I like to do with, uh, with wiring, especially uh, wiring when you have to use a wire nut, is to, use, is to strip back the wiring at least an inch. And usually that won't, the, all that wire will not fit in, inside a uh, wire nut. But once you get it twisted, you go back in and clip off the end. tight. Okay, everything's wired back together. I've got it plugged into the power and I've got my test leads connected to the output of the transformer. Meters hooked up. To simulate uh, this to simulate this working, what I'm going to do is just cover up the sensor here and it, it takes a couple of seconds there's a built-in delay so it doesn't kick on and off on and off but you can actually hear a slight click when this turns on there we go 12.5 volts I let go of it let the light hit it there it goes it's off again so just a couple of other things uh, that I wanted to cover with this. If you're, if you're gonna do this project to repair one of these landscape transformers, the best thing to do is to uh, do a little bit of research and make sure that you're buying the right dust to dawn sensor because the entire current is being run through this device here. And if this transformer it exceeds the rating on your sensor switch, it's gonna overload it and it's gonna, it's gonna break, it's not gonna work. So f for this one here, I chose this one, which was uh, up to 1800 watts. So this is only a 300 watt transformer. This switch is gonna work just fine. Well, I've got everything uh, back on the wall mounted and I had a few minutes to test it, make sure that it was working good. So thanks for watching and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.